Hello, I'm the Lord of Vortex and today I'm going to be looking at a game called Mazes of Ogla. Uh, this I've just downloaded the um, it's a beta map I think, or beta level. I want to go into this just with first time play, see how it's like. So let's go... Oh, I did not distract it from this course here. Forgot that. Let's just quickly install it. Is Maze of Ogla Alpha um, 3.0.1. But doesn't matter, it's just my antivirus scanning. There we go. Let's have a look. Start on games. Oh, sorry. Headphones highly recommended, we've got them on. Okay, cool. So let's get straight into it, play a game. Cool. I like it. Oh wow. Oh cool. Oh wow, I love this cyberpunk kind of atmosphere. Wow. Oh wow. So let's see what happens if we go into this. Wow. This is awesome. This looks amazing. Press uh, F. F. Oh, cool. So press F to activate the door. I love it. It's still like atmospheric sound going on here. This is awesome. It's kind of spooky atmosphere. going on, kind of like a almost, I guess, Nine Inch Nails kind of ambience, or, well, Nine Inch Nails is more ambient than that actually, but cool. I like the reflection, look at that reflection effect you got going on there, that's pretty awesome. And, wow, got some weird kind of, it's got a very cyberpunk atmosphere which I initially love, I love all this. This is an aesthetic that I'm very much a fan of myself. It immediately ticks many boxes for me personally there. So I guess I've got to find my way around this maze. Some nice park effects there. What's this here? What can I can do with that. I can jump here. Yeah. F. Well, 100 percent health still. I think I'm in a different room. I don't think this is where I started. No, it's different. Some nice sound effects. This is interesting for me to look at as well for myself personally because I am currently in the process of building a maze game myself. Very early days at the minute, but this is interesting to look at. Ah, I've got something here. What's this going to do? Huh? Oh. What? What have I done? What have I done? What's this? I just looks like it changed a bit. It's so unnerving in a way. Like the sound effects. Like it is quite an unnerving experience. Obviously because you've got these weird faces everywhere as well. So I've I assume I've done something by doing that. Let's have a look explore further up. Obviously this is a game that encourages exploration and a bit of lateral thinking, which is something I like in game. Oh, there we go, right. So it's going to hurt me. Ah, no! Yes, it is. Oops. <laughs> well, I found out the red lasers 
like that. I should have known that was going to happen, I just wasn't sure if it was going to happen. No, we're going fast. Ah, oh, yeah, I can run. Ah, cool, so you can run as well, shift. Ah, cool, that's going to make it faster than traveling on. Cool. I really like this so far. I'm just going to keep on playing it for as long as I can play it. I want to play it or if we get to the end, I guess. So... What I want to do is find that red box and then activate it, I suppose. So this is going to leave me straight up to where I was before. It's quite hard to different to figure out where you are. I don't know if there's a way of... Well, it would defeat the point, I suppose, if the maze games have a map. So, but... Uh, I suppose that just adds to the sense of... Uh, derailment or you know, derailing the player from going in the right direction. I suppose part of this game is is meant to confuse you. And because uh, I guess there's a lot of the similarity in a lot of the rooms, the way you've got all these weird kind of faces everywhere. Just in, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, I'm somewhere new now. Been in here before. Okay, cool. It confuses to where I am now. That's leads me back to there. Ah, that's the moon. Just to rest, we know where. This way. Aha! Yeah. Oh, that kills you. Um, one thing I will say, I guess, at this point, because this is the uh, this is a beta build, but like I guess if there was some indication of what causes you harm, that would be useful, I think, to the player, or like a not necessarily a tutorial level per se, because I think that'll take a lot of the fun out of just exploring actually, but well, I don't know, it's a hard one actually. I mean. Because the whole point of this game, I suppose, is that you have to explore and find out for yourself. So it kind of defeat the point to have a tutorial where it says, you know, avoid this, avoid X, Y, and Z. And kind of, and to be honest, well, not so much with the last one, but I think with uh, the first obstacle, I was just being stupid, really. I knew, I half knew I was going to die as soon as I did that. Okay, that's all that I mean. Go back in. I think it was somewhere around here. Not really. Don't walk into that again. I need to block s somehow deactivate that. It almost feels as if parts of the map are completely changing every time I'm going to press that button. I don't know. It's, it, this is a disorientating, it's a disorientating game. That was a word I was kind of looking for before, is the derailment. Uh, maybe the sound is a. If I follow these sounds, that might make sense. Oh. I'm going to block the area here. So. I've got another one here as well, but if I go into any of these, I'm going to die. So I have to. I guess. Um, how have I even got here? I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got two more of these areas here. So I guess. If I go here. Another one there. What? I was so confused now, I'm lost. Because I suppose part of the game is a maze. Ah, so look, this looks positive. Oh. So I completed that level, I think. Cool. Yeah, so 
uh, Mazes of Oglar, I think that's level 5, because I think they're just releasing it on a, on a like a action puzzle FPS influenced by 90s Labyrinth style games like Heretic Wolfenstein and Ultimate, Ultimate Underworld. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'll just like do a bit of a summing up of what I thought of that, I guess. I really enjoyed the aesthetic, kind of like that Tron kind of Tron feeling slash uh, mixed with System Shock kind of look, I suppose, with all the kind of weird robotic heads everywhere. Uh, I suppose if I was going to say one thing, in some of the, uh, and I'm being critical obviously, just because I actually really enjoyed that experience and I really enjoyed just playing through it and exploring and seeing what happened. I first, and I like, I love the the way that it kind of throws you off with the lasers and stuff. Um, I was going to say one thing, I think there was probably a little bit too much rep repetition somewhat with the heads everywhere. A little bit, I love the holograms um, that were everywhere. Uh, you know, like the blue holograms, the green holograms and, and all that. Um, I kind of wanted to see a bit more of that, I suppose, just as like... Um, you know, like separate wall elements and stuff like that I guess but overall that was really interesting I really like the the music as well the use of sound it kind of gave the whole game and uh, you kind of felt I kind of felt unnerved I like quite tense going through all the maps um, so the concept is your f uh, it's a test by the Boglies your father Solitan and your mother Aldara wait patiently on return from the mazes of Oglar, located at occult dimensions outside your home planet. So I really like the concept, because it's quite interesting, it's almost like Doctor Who-esque actually. You return alive from the maze, the Elder Judges will consent you with the highest honour. Uh, the legendary warrior's trap called Ethok. Ah, so this, so this is due for release this month. But yeah, I really, I quite enjoyed that. There was, I like, like I said, the Cyberpunk aesthetic was a big plus uh, because I'm a massive Cyberpunk fan. I love Cyberpunk games and Cyberpunk. Uh, the maze was interesting. I think I, I wasn't really sure how it. What I mean, obviously, apart from collecting that red item, it was interesting how everything changed when you know, like in response to picking up items. So if you, I think, in like, I guess, in further designs maps and stuff that will be even there'll be even more like physical challenges and things like that you know like platforms maybe and stuff so I didn't really have there wasn't really any time I had to use the jump key for example or crouch or like use a little bit of physical agility again I'm being critical um, but that's kind of the point I guess of what what you if you're watching this the dev developers I think that's probably what you want isn't it really but yeah good job I really enjoyed playing on that and yeah it'll be interesting to see how this game develops I'll download it and buy it probably once it gets released nice one uh, I hope the developers who are Star Palm Games if they watch this they find it interesting or insightful in some way um, yeah 